as well. We Our have man, a DJ Ezel, mm -hmm. exclusive post-game interview with head coach Ken Plunk as he talks about the victory. All right, coach, earlier this week, they said they're going to put on your tombstone, never beat Mel Maxville. <laughs> I think you can strike that off now. Yeah, I feel good about that. You know, I have to rework my tombstone, but I uh, beat Mel Maxville. <laughs> uh, how big of a win is this for the Tesco Rebels? I think it's huge. You know, it's uh, obviously we're no closer to the playoffs uh, than we were at the beginning of the night, and they're no further away from the playoffs than they were at the beginning of the night. But any time you beat your crosstown rival, particularly one that's really just been a, a difficult one for us to get, and the nature of the win, uh, falling behind like we did, and I mean, just look awful at the beginning of the game. Our kids hung in there. We stopped them right before half, and then came out and played good football in the third quarter. Talk about that perseverance, like you said, of making that big comeback. Well, I, I kept thinking, you know, particularly when it was 14 to three at half, that if we could come out and we could get an opening drive score, uh, then uh, you know, maybe 14 10, I think we'd get a little momentum and, and, and then have a good chance to win the game. But we went and uh, didn't do it. But then eventually it fell into place for us, and we had some timely turnovers and uh, you know, played real well in the third quarter and then, then hung on in the fourth. All right, coach, three and zero, off to a great start. Yeah, we are. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank big you. win. Thank you. All right, Matt Bree, back to you. All right, thank you, DJ. 